This is Scott the Fix Guy. Today we're dealing with the GE Space Saver Laundry Center that needs a new washer lid switch. So pretty easy procedure. We're going to unplug it first or turn off the breaker so there's no power. <clears throat> and then we're going to remove the front panel. We just have to take off two Phillips head screws in the bottom left and bottom right hand corner. And then <clears throat> the panel will slide down by about half an inch, and then we can remove it. Sometimes these screws are a little bit corroded, so just take your time. Just got both of those off, and then I'm just gonna pull down, and I can remove the panel. And that's gonna give me access to a couple of screws underneath that I can remove to to be able to remove the top panel. So one in the upper left hand and one in the upper right hand corner. So there's the upper left hand, little Phillips head screw. There's the upper right. Spin that out. And then we can get the panel lifted up. And that'll give us access to the two screws that are holding in the lid switch. And I'm just gonna use some needle nose pliers to pull off a couple of the electrical spade connectors. You go on to the micro switch on the side. So pull those off. And then I'll use my Phillips head screwdriver to remove the two screws that hold on the lid switch. And this modular connector that's on the other side of the lid switch is kind of hard to get off, so I'm going to use a standard head screwdriver just to give me some leverage to pry it off. I'll just wedge it in between the body of it and the spade connectors. Kind of wiggle it back and forth. I can get this thing off. Sometimes you can just pull it off with your fingers too. So it's interesting, the old switch and the new switch, the micro switch clicks on the new one, on this black one. And on the old one, which is kind of a tan or white one, it just didn't click anymore. So that switch had just kind of given up. And that's why the machine wouldn't go to spin and actually wouldn't go to agitate either. Now I'm taking one of the screws and I'm going to feed it into the lid switch where the screws go in and I'm going to use my screwdriver to, to just drive it in in order to cut threads into the uh, lid switch. If you don't do that it's a little bit hard to get the screws in so I like to do this before I install it. I'll put the screw in. I use my Phillips head screwdriver to really drive it in to cut threads and I'll do it on the other side too. Then it's a lot easier to install. And that's in, that's in there. I'm just trouble. putting it into position so it's the first hole that we see closest to us is the one you want to use to put the screw in to hold on the lid switch. So you just kind of hand start it. It holds it shut. You've already cut the thread so it goes in a little bit easier. And then use your Phillips head screwdriver to drive it in. And then just look up in there and you'll see where the second one goes, where it lines up. So it's the fourth hole away from you. Drive that in, get those tight. That's nice. Make sure everything's lined up. So now we can put on our electrical connectors. main connector and then there's two that go on the little micro switch. Just take your time here, make sure they line them up and then get them pushed on as far as they'll go. Okay. 
And now we just kind of secure the top panel. So we're going to put the Phillips head screw back into the upper right and upper left hand corner to hold down that top panel. That one in. Got it. Now we're sliding the front panel back into position. And I like to use a standard head screwdriver to push in underneath it so I have a little more leverage to push the panel back up into position. Once you kind of get it where you want it, you have to push it a little further, about half an inch, to lock it into position. So I'm holding that up. And I'll use uh, just my fingers to start off the, the Phillips head screw and use the screwdriver to drive it in. And then on the left side, same thing, I'll use a screwdriver to just give me upward pressure to get, get it up as far as it'll go and then put in the, the Phillips head screw. We'll drive that in. Okay, now we're just going to plug it in or turn on the breaker so we can test it. And get everything in position. Okay, I'll set the dial, pull it out, and it seems to be going into spin really well. So, another one fixed. Please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance. Thank you.